Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Cup of Cup is a party style game for children. Adults can actually play this as a filler game or as a party game and have a pretty good time. But the game is designed for children. You're just rolling dice and you're trying to look at the dice, what's missing, and grab the cup that has that, getting a certain number of points, and you win. Very simple, very easy to teach. Not a very deep strategic game, but just like a fun little party game that you can play. And you can do it really quickly. The game doesn't last too long. Kids have a good time. The cups have different faces on them. It's going to be careful because those cups will break if you're not careful. And that can cause an issue if you're uh, wanting to keep this game long term. The more durable cups that you have, the better off this is going to be. Uh, for the most part, it's going to be strictly for children. It's a fun little game, nice little filler, and kids are going to like it. And it takes you a moment to kind of figure out what they're looking for, if the colors are the same or they're different, and which cup to grab so you can grab the right one. There's a lot of these games. Haba's made this type of game before. This one happens to be with cups. Here are the components for Cup of Cup. You can see these kids playing on it. On the back of it, you're going to see the smiling faces on the boxes, etc. Uh, the box is okay. It's an R and R games game, so you can open it up. You can get a rule book, which we'll look at in a while. You're gonna get these nine cups. They're gonna have different faces on them per se, and then you're gonna have a die with the different colors on it. And that's pretty much all you get in this. Could it have been smaller? Yeah, I think so, but it is what it is. So here's the rule book. It's pretty tall and skinny. It'll give you an overview, a picture of the components, and how to set it up. Tell you how to play the game. And then the game end and the credits. Very, very simple game to learn. You probably could read this in probably two or three minutes and be ready to play. On your turn, it's very easy. You roll the two dice and you see what they decide. They might have a yellow square, blue circle, etc. And if you look here in the rule book, it'll kind of tell you that if the same colors, so it's red circle, red circle would equal a red circle on both die. A blue circle, blue square would equal blue triangle. So if they're the same color but different shapes, it's whatever shape was left out. Different colors, blue circle, red circle would equal the yellow circle. And the red circle, blue square would be the yellow triangle. So you have to kind of do that gymnastics in your mind. So you grab whatever cup you want. If you grab the correct, correct cup, you get to keep it. And you play until you score a number of cups. In a four to six player game, you want to get three cups. In a three player game, you want to get four cups. In a two player game, you want to get five of the cups. So you look at what the dice are, you did mental gymnastics, and the first person to grab the cup will keep them. And that's how you win the game. Who should buy this game? It's going to be strictly for children. If you want a party light filler game, I think this would be fine. But you're not going to sit an evening around this game. Uh, I, I think we found this game in a lot of other things. I've seen this game around, you know, these quick, like, set where you're trying to figure these things out. This has a little bit of a dexterity where you're trying to grab it as quickly as possible. For us, it's going to be a purge. It's really not going to fit the needs of what we're looking for. So this one's going to go ahead and pass through. Very simplistic game that I think a lot of people are going to have some fun with.